This video outlines in short, the steps to submit an annual safety report request for information, or ASRRFI. Assess RFI responses received from the sponsor. And finalize the assessment of an ASR. In the authority workspace, after the considerations from MSCs related to the assessment of an ASR have been consolidated and shared by the SAMS. And if it has been decided that an RFI is needed, the SAMS can submit an RFI. The SAMS can select the related considerations and click on the Create RFI button. In the pop-up form, you can select the considerations, using the tick in boxes on the left side. You can fill in the reason in the respective field, selecting whether there is an incomplete document or it is a regular RFI, as well as the due date. You can also include additional documents, if needed. After filling all the relevant details in the pop-up form, you can click on the Submit button. The RFI will be listed in the Request for Information section. You can expand it to see the full details. In addition, the responses to the RFI will be placed here. Once the sponsor responds to the RFI, the MSCs receive a relevant notice in the Notices and Alerts tab. Open the RFI response in order to assess it, by clicking on the Notice or by assigning the relevant task in the Tasks tab. The SAMS can assign the task to a user, by assigning it to yourself. The ASR Assessment sub-tab will open. Click on the RFI to drop down the information in the working area. You may view any written response, and attach documents, on the dedicated fields that sponsors can use to address each consideration. In order to complete the assessment of the ASR, RFI response, you can type a written comment to each sponsor's consideration response, and then click on Submit. If the SAMS decides that the response to the RFI is not sufficient, a follow-up RFI asking for additional information can be raised by the SAMS. If the response satisfies the MSCs, then the SAMS proceeds with the task of finalizing the assessment of the ASR. The SAMS can click on the View Tasks Related button on an ASR page, to locate the tasks of that ASR. To perform the task, first you should assign it to a user. If you assign the task to yourself, the assessment page of the ASR will open and you will have to indicate the respective ASR assessment information. The SAMS will have to respond to a series of questions regarding the assessment of the ASR. In two subsections, the first one regarding summary and conclusion for member states. The details are provided with structured data and using radio buttons. For most of the questions, if the answer is yes, you will have to provide further details via the drop-down lists. The second section of the assessment page of the ASR is the summary and conclusion for sponsors. As in the section for regarding the summary and conclusion for the member states, for most of the questions, if the answer is yes, you will have to provide further details via the drop-down lists. The details of each subsection are visible to MSC users and to sponsor users respectively. Below, in order to finalize the ASR assessment report and complete the task, you need to upload at least one assessment report document. You can click on the Save button to save the populated information and keep working on the ASR assessment at another moment. After filling out all the necessary information and uploading the supporting documentation if required, the SAMS can click on the Share button, so that all MSCs can view the final assessment before being submitted to the sponsor. The SAMS can click on Complete Task and the ASR assessment will be submitted. This video is part of the CTIS training program. For more information on how to search, view, and assess an annual safety report, you may visit our training platform and our additional materials.